collar cuffs and waistband. The denim will place that. And then you're going to be able to hood it as well, so. We're here on the last day of London Fashion Week. It's Man Day and uh, rounding off the week. And we're here to see the James Long Show. James is one of the up and coming menswear talents in London. And he graduated from the RCA in 2007 with an MA in menswear and accessories. Last season, he showed us gold foil trousers, leather jackets, and lots of man bags. We're really excited to see what he's gonna do this season. Zips off. <coughs> yeah, you can zip your hood off. Which is nice. And it's got the, the print inside. Isn't yeah, it? so you've got the quilted print lining inside. Autumn winter is my favourite season because obviously I work with leather, I work with a lot of sheepskin, I work with, I love heavy fabrics, I love cords. There was an artist called Ethan Cook in New York gave me these paintings and we started doing a print from that and then that developed into some of the shapes and some of the knitwear designs as well and yeah they're kind of abstract they almost look like blood on a navy blue um, background and then we've used the print and the, the bag as well I'm using the print a lot this season because I find that quite exciting and it's quite visual and you can get good colours in and it's, and it's your own, it's totally something you've done yourself. My men are always quite powerful and strong and they're sort of almost a bit fighting, a bit angry. In the kind of fantasy way like that, they're a, they're a boiler room boys. They're kind of like working away in the boiler room and you know, they've got boiler suits on. It's really important, isn't it, who wears that outfit and how it fits them and how they, if they're giving your message across, it's kind of, a big deal. So James Long's show was great, it was really well edited and styled, it featured jumbo blue cord and boiler suits in denim which were quite a good commercial addition and also a little bit of a man clutch and um, I particularly like the sleeveless navy blue bomber jackets in leather. The leather jackets, talk to me a little bit about the fact that the, there was a really nice sleeveless one and... Uh, the leather is uh, my sponsor's pit hard to let us choose the leather and work with them so we get a really high beautiful quality and we can get our colour exactly right so I wanted that intense blue and the intense red uh, to like bounce off each other and those shapes are really f kind of what I would see as like I don't know whether I can even say that I'd have classics yet because I'm such a new designer but you know every season I, I want to as I grow have my twist on a biker my twist on a you know trying to make my own little collection of things that will change each season. How did you sort of finish with the styling in terms of bringing out the whole boi that sort of boiler room boys storyline? Uh, they were, I, th I think me and Sam, when we were in the studio, we kind of get ourselves into a, a zone. and we, So we were in the boiler room and they were slightly hallucinating and it was hot and then they were getting a fever and then there was weird things growing around and it was slightly trippy and... You know, I mean, how that comes out on the catwalk is just how we interpret it. So me saying that might sound bonkers, but, you know, you do get yourself in a space and you listen to the music and you are in that zone. And what are you going to do after the show now? I'm going to go to Top Man Show, because they're my sponsors. And then I've got a party at the Sanderson. And then there's a GQ dinner. Then I'm going to bed. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Brilliant, thanks James. Thank you, thank you for coming.